today I want to review one Vernum. No la, la. Hungry la. What is that? What does TMW stand for? It stands for Transformer Magnet Multi Bubble <laughs> Wonderful! Yes, the percentage soap on launch weekend. Wow, look at the shops. So nice, ah. Uh. If you really want to be a Hua Kui, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we all can bake our Hua Kui together with me. And if you have done it, I will be showing you bomb bombs. Mr. Da Tao. Boom, 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 boom. This is TMW Maxwell by three developers. Chip Eng Seng, Sing Hai Yi and Chuan. 324 units, TOP 2028. TMW, TMW, what does it stand for? Transformer Machine, Multiple and Wonderful. Such a long name, how to pronounce? All the taxi drivers will forget the name and they will just put you at the Maxwell Market. Let's recap what this plot of land was formerly. Previously was Maxwell House, which looks like this. Wow, this one give me a lot of memories, yeah. Fun fact, do you know my previous office is at Maxwell House? And now it becomes here. And I remember my office, ah, somewhere here. Then, during break time, we will go down and when chill out at one of the small cafe la. Those were the days. Then I remember after this office, which I rented, then I moved to International Plaza. Ah, then I buy that one for own use. And Maxwell office has 145 units. For on block to take place, developer needs to build at least double the current number of units. And they are able to build up to 324 units for TMW Maxwell, which means 2.2 times. They on block 276.8 million. Per square feet per plot ratio, 1,565 per square feet. So with the 15% profit margin that developer should make, they should be launching at 2,550 per square feet and based on their indicative price they may be selling roughly at 3,000 plus per square feet so let's say they sell at 3,002 per square feet that means they will be making 31% profit hua kui la developer that means buyers may be potentially a <coughs> this is the location for transformable multiple wonderful maxwell which is very near to tanjong baga mrt and of course the nearest is your maxwell mrt over here now let's check out their site plan huh like that only ah where is the tennis court? Hi, yo. Transformable, multiple, wonderful Maxwell is actually a mixed development. And downstairs, they have shops. And I checked with some agents, they told me that developers want to sell, which consists of 11 shops in one title. That means anyone who wants to buy the shops, uh, you must one shop buy 11 of them. Uh. This is still slightly okay because the next person who buys this, you will have a good tenant mix. If no one buys it, what will happen? You look very empty, yo. Chui, yo. Chui, yo. Now let's look at unit mix. So there are 201 studio. One bedder got 34. One plus study, 34. One plus loft, 5 units. Two bedroom premium, 16 units. And the biggest unit, two bedroom dual key. At one glance, this kind of unit mix, no family buy one. Nah. How to stay the two bedroom dual key as the biggest unit? The second biggest will be the two bed, two bath. So definitely this project mainly is investment based project. Let's check out their layout, which they call it the what? Flip switch unit. Flip switch. What is this new thing? Maybe you come home, so tired already. Cannot walk away, never mind. Then you still need to find clothes, ah. You need to push open. Ah. Then take your clothes already, then you still need to push. Okay, then after that, then you want to sleep, ah. You still need to put up, put down. One hour, you pay 1.5 million, 2 million, need to do all this, ah. Check, man. Oh, table, table. Oh, table. Ah, flip, flip. Most importantly, don't get your finger. 
So it's 488 square feet, cannot walk, hey. Starting from 1.513 million, my average 1.6 million, 3,280 per square feet. 3,000 per square feet, ah. Wow. Wow. Next layout, let's jump to two bed, two bath. This is a two bed premium. First thing to, is to see. Seven nine two square feet cannot walk. Hey, starting from two point four seven two million, my average two point six million three thousand two hundred eighty three per square feet. Wow, power la. Last one, the biggest layout. Two bedroom dual key. 861 square feet, dual key, both kitchen, cannot walk here. Starting from 2.7 million, my average maybe 2.9 million, 3,368 per square feet. Two bedroom dual key is for you or singles or couple to stay in one of the unit, then the other unit you can rent out to cover more or less the interest. For this case, if you can afford 2.7 or 2.9 million dual key, you still need rental for what? You already so what? What is rental? So in summary, this project you cannot walk hey. It's very difficult to pronounce the name. Transformable Multiple Wonderful Maxwell. So I thought of a better name and it will be called the Missing Walk Hey. Uh, uh, uh. You see? So nice. Quick one, what are the alternative condos that you can buy in this area? And most importantly, if you buy the missing walk, hey, will you make money or not? The first condo I'll be using Eon Shenton because it's the most recently completed condo in 2017, which is located here. Eon Shenton 132 units completed in 2017. Eon Shenton 2017. 132 units. That means this project will be 11 years old when TMW TOP in 2028. So for 11 years old gap, the per square feet should be about 550 per square feet difference. Not a lot of resale demand. So the first thing, the resale demand is not there. And you can see that their one beta is selling at 2,400 over per square feet. Next, let's look at the profitability and whether are there people who lose money buying this project. There are eight profitable transactions. From 2021 to 2023, there's only one sale and this person made 17,000 ah. Simi. And this person sold 2021, not bad, 300,000. The rest, 130, 60, 22, 50k, 252k. Out of these eight ah, maybe less than 50% make good profits ah. 12 unprofitable transactions. Wow, lose two leg, lose one thumb, lose one kidney, lose two arms. Lose your down payment. What wow, eh. Like that how to be hua kui. Chui kui ah, hua kui. Never mind, this is not a very good comparison because TMW got 300 over units. Eon Shenton only got 132 units. So I found something which is something same size, which is Sky Suites at Anson, but they completed in 2014. Sky Suites at Anson, 2014, 360 units. The resale transactions is slightly more healthy. Let's have some faith that this project has better profits. 55 profitable transactions, very good. The most recent 700 square feet only make 39k, 42k. Like that, lose la. Don't tell me, ah, oh, no la. I still have rental income. Hey, don't boo. Everyone, to be a faster Huawei, you need to buy a property that has both rental and capital appreciation. Don't tell me, oh, uh, I never make the capital, never mind, I only have rental. Xiao Wan, then you are a very lousy investor. Uh, then small unit, oh, 117,000. And this is already 12 years. And everyone, just quick one, you see the profit, wow, lao eh, sien eh. Then now let's look at the losses. 26 losses. Wow, when they lose, uh, wow, lose two hand, lose two leg, lose one kidney, lose two MacBook Pro, lose your down payment. This one, your mother will kick you out from the house. Ay, what a sad story. Everyone, every time when I see all these losses, it shouldn't be that way. Because if you know the art of investing, you will make money and will not lose until so jialat. I don't like to see people lose money. I love to see people making money be a giant huakui together with me because every investment already take risk should have good returns. 
if you buy the right property. For those people who already buy in not so good areas, this is the best time for you to sell because it's the seller's market. Take this time to sell your bad property to the next Xiao Kian ah, and you can buy a better one. Never hold on to your bad property because in this seller's market, you still lose money. Ah. Your project is really very bad. So let it go, let it go. Then we go and buy a better one. And we restart, have faith in property and have faith by learning how to buy a good property investment in Singapore from me. Okay, I'm done. Those are resale projects. How about brand new? What are other brand new upcoming new launches are there in this area? Before TMW, we have one Burnham. 551 units launched in May 2021. If you watch my YouTube video, it's under one burden or one burden. Let me show you the current one burden price. These are sold in July 2023. The per square feet is about 2004 to 2006 per square feet. Fun fact, up till today, more than two years already, they only sell 50 over percent only. And not only that, we still have a few more coming up. Ah. We have Newport Residences, 246 unit, supposed to launch a few months ago. And the developer so sway, few days before the launch day, government implemented the 60% ABSD to foreigners. And then we have Skywater Residences, 215 units launching this or next year. This is the new Alibaba Tower, la, which is the tallest building in the entire Singapore. Next, we have Marina View Resi, 748 units launching this year and next year. So with these five projects, One Burnham, New Port Residences, Skywater, Marina View, Maxwell, we have 1,884 units. So now, can you make money by buying 3,000 over per square feet in TMW? Maxwell. Let's summarize. Location, do you know CBD is a ghost town on weekends? No people one la. Okay, we talk something nice la. I like Maxwell Market. The food there very nice. Uh, they got a lot of uh, brunch places at Anxiang Hill. Wow, you can drink, uh, you can get drunk and you can still reach your apartment la. The thing that I hate the most is this one don't have tennis court. Hi. And yes, you have MRT station. And for these reasons, I'll be giving a 7. Wow, not bad, right? Got Chan, got Chan. Launch pricing. One burner or one burden only sell 50 over percent after two years and they are currently selling about 2,006 per square feet. And based on developer 15% profit margin, they can sell below 3,000. Ah. But I don't know, what wow, they just whack 3,000 plus per square feet. How am I going to give you a good launch pricing for this? And your downstairs not manage one eh. If no one buy the 11 units eh. I don't know whether developer will manage the shops downstairs because if no one manage, it will be very... Walao eh, you have your money lender, you may have some sleazy cafes, who knows? If the Apple sell at 3,200 per square feet as their average price, my launch pricing will be 2. I want to give 1 lah, but 1 too bad lah, I give 2 all. Exit strategy. There are history of people here losing an arm, kicked out by their parents, and you still want to enter in this area. Exit strategy, 1. I can't put negative right. Overall service score. 3.3 stars. If I'm not wrong, this is the lowest new launch project review scoring that I give for 2023. Let's have some fun. What is the percentage sold on launch day? Well, this one is very difficult. Eh? Uh, talking about one Burnham, they only managed to sell 23% of the total number of units at launch. And their average price is only 2,650 per square feet. So I'll be guessing 10% and my wife 15%. If you want to know more about this project, please do not contact this number. If you really want to buy this project and you know more, you can look for your own agent. Guys, before you buy anything, you can do a lot of due diligence and research on your own. And if you already see many of the projects there don't really make money after so many years and you still want to enter, I can only do one thing. I really hope that three, four years later, you will make money and say I am wrong. I really hope that you make a lot of money so that the rest will be whoa, super gigantic huakui. Don't be rushed in any investment. There are a lot of good ones coming up. Stay tuned, subscribe to my video and I will see you in my next video.